setting foot in South Korea, tonight these North Korean Olympians are making history. Arriving at the athlete's village to a crush of media and curiosity, where their flag now flies in a country they're technically at war with. Really good to see them. I was wondering how they look like or how, what they speak, kind of that, but we can now see them like with our eyes. Korea! North and South will march together under a unified flag, competing as teammates and rivals. In all, 22 athletes from the North are here, including 12 added to the South's women's hockey team, sparking a backlash among the public, even among the players. American Sarah Murray is their coach. It is a tough situation to have our, our team be used for political reasons, but you know, it's kind of something that's bigger than ourselves right now. The North and South Korean teams will be staying here at Athletes Village with Olympians from all around the world. But they won't be living together. They'll be staying in separate buildings. Just 60 miles from the most dangerous border in the world, the Olympic spirit is about bringing countries together. The more countries, the merrier. Now the stage is set for rivals to become partners, if only for a few days. Miguel Almaguer, NBC News, Pyeongchang. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.